you viewers, Rectangular back, this time with another review. Here from Bruder we have the Scania fire truck. This is their higher end model. They also have another fire truck that's almost the same size, not quite as many bells and whistles, and that's called the Bruder Man fire truck. This one has got um, more moving parts and more sculpted details, and it's about an inch longer. Um, I don't know about the width. It's probably a, just a slightly bit taller, and uh, I know it's about an inch longer. So anyway, um, you may have seen my review of the Dicky Toys um, recycling truck or garbage truck. And Dicky Toys is also a German company like Bruder, but that is, that um, truck was made in China, whereas I believe all of Ger um, Bruder's uh, toys are made in Germany. So you get really, really nice construction, really nice materials, and let's flip this guy over so you can look at the other side of the package. Okay, so here we have the back of the package and just shows a picture of a lot of the other vehicles that they make. Um, I haven't seen these show up in any discount stores, uh, the fire trucks I haven't seen, but you can get the cement mixer, um, there is a logging truck, and I believe a, the crane truck shown here in the middle. Um, those have been showing up at uh, TJ Maxx, and I know the, the Jeep also as well. Um, they have a Jeep like this, and um, uh, like a Land Rover type Jeep. And But they're still probably between 25 and 35 bucks, so um, still not bad, but um, you can sometimes find some better deals on uh, Amazon or eBay. Alright, let's uh, get this guy out of the box and get a closer look. Alright, so here we have the truck out of the package and it is quite large. Got my ruler here measuring tape and looks like we are at about 22 yeah about 22 inches long with the front of the basket and height wise we are at a little over 11 from the top of the basket let's see and yeah about just about 11 inches tall and width it is a little over six inches wide. So quite big. Here is a six inch figure Marvel Legends Infinite Series Superior Spider-Man for comparison. So these are one sixteenth scale and Marvel Legends or six inch figures are one twelfth scale so they are almost in scale three and three quarter inch would be one eighteenth scale so it's kind of in between the two um, do you have a one eighteenth scale figure somewhere around here but uh, I think that will be the truck will be too large for that scale of figure here we go here is a Iron Man you could probably make it work, but I think it looks better with the uh, six inch scale figures. Probably five inch scale would probably be perfect, like uh, Doctor Who or um, Walking Dead. Those are uh, five inch scale figures. So let's get him out of the way <clears throat> and let's show off this side of the vehicle. So on this side we have the hatch for the firemen to get into their or door to get into their equipment and that just snaps open like that and you can put a little brooder makes little um, fire accessories they have a fire extinguisher that you could probably put in there and you know hats or helmets 
and then has uh, rubber tires. The side windows fold in and out of the door. The door opens, closes, and then we have these uh, supports that pull out and then you can rotate those down. You're supposed to put uh, little blocks underneath there to help support the weight of the truck when they're extended. And then those just go back in and rotate to fold up. There we go. Pops back in. And have the same accessory here on the back. Does the same thing. And we have the ladder going up the side. The only decals are the caution red and white stripe there on the side and this guy. I guess it's I'm trying to tell you what department they're from. And let's go ahead and rotate it to the other side and get a closer look on the driver's side. Alright, so here we have the driver's side of the truck and of course we have the same supports that pop out and rotate down on the front and the rear. And then we have again another ladder going up to the hose attachment. We have the pump mechanism for spraying the water which you can add in the top of the truck and we have the brooder decal there. Again uh, rubber tires on all the wheels. These are um, a fake set of double tires. I mean they there is two tires there but they're molded together. They're not independent. Um, and then we have the opening driver's side door and the mirror that rotates out. Um, I thought that there was supposed to be it could be a decal actually that I think there is a decal that comes <clears throat> with the vehicle that you can attach to the mirrors. Um, and the steering wheel does rotate. Um, like I said, it does go 360. Yeah, it does. And then there's a decal inside showing the the dials and display for the truck. Um, this isn't an actual window. It's just a black paint on solid plastic. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. This mechanism here uh, rotates the hose. So if we pull the hose out, you can see that it will rotate. There we go. And then crank it back in. Just rotate it. And put the hose away. And then we have the <clears throat> crane seat which folds up and down. So as you can see it would be really hard to try to fit a Marvel Legend figure in there. Um, although you could probably f easily fit a 3 and 3 quarter inch like a G.I. Joe. Um, this is a 3 and 3 quarter inch Iron Man Marvel Universe and uh, he fits in there fine. But if you tried to get a Marvel Legend there that would be pretty much impossible. This is one of the most articulated figures that we have, especially from recent Marvel Legends, and uh, he is just not going to fit in there. Not comfortably or in any kind of realistic way, that's for sure. So, it is, you know, good in scale, but not, not perfect. And then and I really don't have uh, room to display how tall this thing gets up, but 
this thing extends about four feet um, and it it'll go up about a 45 degree angle um, it's not uh, it's not electronic it's all manually fed so there's a knob on the other side <clears throat> that you can crank and then uh, this piece extends all the ladder pieces I think there's three yeah there's three sets of ladder that uh, will extend out from the base of the vehicle so it's quite large and there's a little latch inside here to uh, flip up and add the water and then you can um, actually get the hose up to your firefighter and have them squirt the water out of the uh, out of the hose I haven't tried it but I assume it works now the top of the vehicle does have a uh, latch that you can pop off it's a little um, it's like sunroof piece and you can buy from Bruder an attachment with uh, lights and sounds uh, little you know siren lights that uh, snap right under the top there that also include uh, sound effects so if you wanted to add to the realism of your playtime then you can definitely add that and they go for about twelve dollars um, I think I saw them for about nine fifty um, on Amazon. And let's see if I can get the truck rotated so you can see the front and the rear. Okay, here's the front of the truck, and you can see the little license plate decal attached to the front there. It does come with this little um, piece that pops off if you wanted to add the more robust um, I guess ram grill you can pop that off and it just uh, snaps onto the front it's basically like a looks like a big f uh, black fork that just um, sticks up like that I'm not gonna show it on camera but it does come with that accessory and it is a actual um, clear windshield so if you had um, GI Joe's um, three and three quarter inch figures that could fit inside then uh, you could actually see them from outside of the vehicle which is pretty cool and uh, like I said the doors do open and the mirror um, rotates so very cool there and let's flip around and show the rear here we have the rear of the vehicle and you can see that the lights are just decals no actual plastic there. Uh, you get the decals for the warning symbols, caution stripes, and then we have the uh, fake little license plate, and then we have the little tow hitch here, which is removable. See there, it just slides in a little notch there, pops on, and there's the back of the crane which does um, fully rotate 360 degrees eee, almost hit my camera there so quite cool quite cool it is pretty pricey um, the cheapest place retail that you can get this thing is at Target and that's gonna cost you uh, I want to say $80 plus tax something like that um, so definitely shop around you can see them go up on eBay from time to time and also Amazon um, probably gonna cost you about the same as you would get at Target So here we have a very quick setup just to show some scale comparison and these are all six inch scale figures. We have the Plan B Firemen and if you want to know more about those please go check out my review. And then we have from Mattel we've got the Movie Masters Batman Police Officer figures, the Blake and I put the um, head from Gordon on there. 
and then we have the Toy Biz Face Off Captain America, the unmasked version. So I think these all go really well together and I think the scale works really nice. You know, it, it's a big toy, but in relationship to these figures, it's kind of a smaller, um, what's it called, fire truck. So uh, as big as the truck is, these, these figures still would require um, even a bigger truck, but uh, this is probably the best thing you're going to get. Um, to work and you know with the with the opening doors I think it just really adds to the realism one last thing I forgot to go over was that the basket does of course fold down almost to 90 degrees there so you can put a figure inside it to have him fight the fire and with that, I'm going to sign off and wish that you guys liked the video. Hopefully you hit the like button, share with your friends, subscribe if you haven't already, and I always love hearing back from you guys, so please leave a comment below. Alright, thanks so much for watching. Bye.